All right, everyone. Today, I wanted to talk about a very serious ongoing issue in Lost Ark. I wanted to give you guys some more information about this. And what the issue is, is that players have actually been getting banned for purchasing certain skins off of the market with gold. And when you hear that at first, you might be like, wait a second, what's going on? How is that even happening? How is that even possible? It really is that crazy. I'm going to explain the situation here so that you understand it a little bit better. And the purpose of this video is not to get anybody to panic. It's really to just bring awareness to this so that you guys have the information going forward so you don't end up getting yourself caught up in this big giant headache because it seems like as time has been going on, more and more people have been getting caught up in this. And you can actually just see like looking at this on Google, I just searched lots of arc band for skins and it seems like every single day more and more posts and proof is coming out about this ongoing issue and i wouldn't be making this video if it was just one or two people because you never really know when people get banned uh, a lot of the times people exaggerate or they don't tell the full truth because you know you, a lot of the times you get banned for a reason right but this is a lot of people who have been reporting this and giving the details and it seems pretty darn legit so it's important that you guys are aware of this if you end up taking a look at a lot of these posts forum posts, Reddit posts, just all the social media that's got more information about this. It seems like there's a general theme. People are purchasing these skins off of the market with gold, finding themselves getting their account banned, communicating with Amazon, and in a lot of cases, there's just nothing that really ends up going forward after that. So it's a really, really big problem. Now, let me explain this situation here a little bit better so that you guys can actually understand why this is even happening. And let me clarify, this is absolutely no excuse for why this is happening. I I personally find this whole situation to just how how did how does this even happen it's really pretty ridiculous to me but let me explain how this is even happening and uh basically if you end up buying these skins off of the market and it seems like a lot of these posts that i've looked at specifically it seems to be with lawmaker skins which end up coming from one of the founders packs and also these platinum skins here as well. These seem to be the two main culprits here. I'm not too sure if there's other skins that are also having people end up in the same situation with their account bans. I would imagine that anything that is tied to something that you can end up charging back has this possible risk. So that might end up including the Cerberus mount, the Dio, uh, Diorica Warhorse, because the um, pack that you actually end up getting from uh, the store here these packs actually do end up going through Steam. And you'll understand a little bit in a second here why this is very relevant information to why people are getting banned for this stuff. So I would imagine that the stuff in these Vanquisher, Explorer, and Apprentice starter packs, if you can end up buying it off the market, um, that might be a... Uh, uh, that might cause these problems as well. So the Diorica Warhorse, possibly the Alar skin chest, the Arcatemo selection chest, these are all things from packages that you can end up uh, buying on Steam. And the problem is why this situation has even been happening is people have been purchasing packs off of Steam and then taking all of the items that they end up getting from, say, these Founders packs. And let's just stick to the Lawmaker and the Platinum skins because we know Conf confirm now from uh, all these various Reddit posts and forum threads that people have specifically been experiencing this with the Lawmaker and Platinum skin packs. But basically, people will be buying Founders packs off of Steam, and then they will dump the items that they end up getting from the Founders packs for gold, probably end up spending the gold on illicit activities, real money trading. Who knows? that the, What they do with the gold is besides the point. But basically what happens is once they end up dumping these items on the market and they end up getting their gold, what they will do is they will end up going back to Steam and they will be charging these packages back. And I want to clarify here very, very importantly, in absolutely no way, sense, shape, form, do I condone this type of behavior. It is absolutely unacceptable and I'm pretty sure it's incredibly illegal as well. So don't even think about doing this, um, you know, for multiple different reasons. But basically, let's get to the point where how does this result in people buying these packs getting banned? Well, for some reason, Amazon's solution to this, and I, I think this is absolutely absurd, is when you end up charging something back, it's a natural response for a game to end up banning you because you're basically trying to get electronic goods for free, right? The thing is, though, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to end up banning the people who end up buying the items from these packs because in a lot of cases, it's completely unknown who you're actually buying a Lawmaker skin from or who you're buying a Platinum skin from. Like, if I were to end up going 
and buying one of these off the market, there's absolutely no sense who this is coming from. I don't know if this is coming from somebody completely legitimate, or I don't know if this is coming from somebody who is participating in these incredibly illicit activities of charging back their founders packs. How am I supposed to know? Now, obviously, if you know, Amazon games can prove a direct link between the person who ended up buying a founder's pack, charging it back, and then selling the items to somebody who they have a direct connection to, then it makes sense to buy the person who ended up buying these items. But when you end up selling something on the market, 99.99% of the time, it's going to be going to somebody random that you have absolutely no idea and no connection to. So why would somebody random be getting banned for buying something from somebody that they don't know and what they're going to end up doing with their founder's pack on Steam and if they're possibly going to end up charging it back? It doesn't really end up making any sense at all. I think it's a huge mess up and a serious problem that Amazon Games definitely needs to address. But this is a situation that clearly you guys can see here, it's going on. And it's not just one or two people, it's a lot of people that are experiencing this at this point. So the purpose of this video here, again, I don't, there's no reason to panic. I'm not even saying don't end up buying these items off the market. I would just say um, if there's one big thing to really end up taking away from this video, it's proceed with caution, right? If you guys are gonna end up buying not just the platinum skins here and the lawmaker skins, which are um, confirmed cases of this situation happening where people are getting banned. It seems like a lot of the posts, Reddit threads, forum posts that I go through, it's specifically these two skins and uh, items that this has been happening to people. But I would also probably proceed with caution from anything that comes from a pack on Steam where the person who ends up having or buying this pack has the ability to charge it back. So that includes the Cerberus, Cerberus, these right here. That also includes the Diarica Warhorse. This right here, because again, this comes from that Vanquisher pack, which is it goes through Steam. So if somebody does participate in these activ illicit activities uh, and they buy that Vanquisher pack from Steam and then charge it back, you basically have the same situation that people are reporting with the Lawmaker and the Platinum skin. I just don't know if there's any confirmed cases with these. The Alar skins as well, these right here. And also the Akatemau, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, Akatemau Pet Chest. I believe these also end up coming from a pack that you can end up charging back through Steam. So I just wanted to put this out there, bring a little bit of attention to it, raise some awareness here, and kind of explain the situation as well. And again, this doesn't excuse anything. This doesn't excuse Amazon. I, I'm absolutely shocked that this is even happening. I really think they need to address this as soon as possible, but it's happening. It's a situation. And because it is, you guys need to be aware of it. So um, anyway, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to kind of put this out there so that you guys know. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a quick like, consider subscribing. I was going to say, uh, leave a like and subscribe if you want more videos like this in the future, but hopefully not. Hopefully we don't have more videos like this in the future. And feel free to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash salt, where I'll be streaming Lost Ark as well as other games. Thanks again, everyone. Have fun playing Lost Ark. And until next time.